There's just 13 days left until Christmas, so there's not much time to get those packages sent out for them to be delivered by the holiday. Now, one woman I spoke to said she thought she planned ahead, but sometimes things get lost in transit. Teresa McDonald has spent months making this quilt pictured here for her loved one. My oldest granddaughter um, was diagnosed with uh, thyroid cancer in March. And a second identical quilt for her youngest granddaughter. McDonald had sent off portions of the quilt to another quilter for some final touches. She said the quilts were shipped priority mail and should have been back on her doorstep by December 2nd. But according to the tracking number, they were last checked in at a Kansas City distribution center. Our last update before this one today was they actually left the distribution center on December 6th in a bin full of other mail, but six days and they didn't know where they were at. While McDonald is holding on to hope, the package will be found. For those planning to ship items through the post office by Christmas, here are the deadlines you're up against. December 15th for ground service. December 17th, first class mail service and packages. December 18th, priority mail. Plus, the post office made some changes to hopefully avoid any shipping issues this year. We actually have added 112 new processing machines throughout the country. They can process up to 3,200 packages per hour, so that's roughly 25,000 packages in an eight-hour shift. We've leased 46 annexes throughout the country, and they're all within five miles of major processing facilities. So that ensures smoother transportation and no bottlenecks. For now, McDonald is hoping for a Christmas miracle. It's your heart that goes into making these. It's going to be difficult to call her and tell her that what I had done for her isn't going to make it. Monica Castro, Fox 4, working for you.